this demonstration, I'll be showing you several techniques that you can use to optimize an existing WebLogic server domain that's running on Oracle ExaLogic Elastic Cloud. Most ExaLogic optimizations require a server restart, so let's begin by bringing down all of our managed servers. To get started, many performance optimizations can be quickly enabled at the domain level. If your admin server is only listening on the private IP over InfiniBan network, you will not be able to access it from outside of the ExaLogic machine. Instead, you can create a network channel that listens on either the management network or the Ethernet over InfiniBan network. Network channels can be created dynamically, but the other ExaLogic optimizations do require a server restart. You can confirm that the network channel is working by accessing the admin console from either the management or E over IB network. The remaining optimizations revolve around increasing session replication performance within a cluster. Edit your first managed server and add a new channel on the IP over InfiniBand network. Be sure to select the Outbound Enabled Channel option.
Also select the Sockets Direct Protocol or STP option on this channel. WebLogic replication actually performs best when you use multiple channels on each server. But you don't have to create them individually. Instead, you can simply provide a range of port numbers. Create the same SDP channel and configure replication ports on the remaining servers in your cluster. Next, there are a few optimizations that are enabled at the cluster level and therefore automatically affect every server in the cluster. Finally, in order to use SDP with WebLogic, you need to add a special Java property to your domain startup script.